Migrants from around the world who are seeking to reach the United States undertake a long and often perilous journey through Central America and Mexico. Adding a global pandemic exacerbates the existing dangers. However, CBP has taken various actions and implemented COVID-19 policies to include travel restrictions, which are helping to protect America from this global threat to public health. Last year, CBP encountered migrants from 148 countries attempting to cross into the U.S. between designated ports of entry. During travel from countries of origin, migrants are crammed into trains, buses, or any conveyance available to take large and vulnerable populations northbound. Criminal smuggling organizations treat migrants as a commodity and thus pack these conveyances with as many people as possible to optimize earning potential. Their destination? The U.S.-Mexico border. And while en route, each migrant comes into contact with various communities, cities, and towns traversed along the arduous trek. While waiting for the criminal organizations to arrange for illicit crossing into the United States, these migrants are packed, once again, into small homes or buildings near the border. These close quarter smuggling methods create disease spreading havens for viruses such as COVID-19. During the journey through Mexico, sicknesses often go untreated and undetected, which is why CBP agents and officers encounter so many sick migrants once they reach our facilities. With mass migration comes overcrowding. At this same time last year, Border Patrol stations and processing centers were stretched well beyond their capacity. Agents struggled to conduct law enforcement duties to address the unfolding humanitarian crisis. CBP deployed assets from around the country, expanded its medical program, and increased holding capacity to address the needs of the unrelenting stream of illegal immigrants who came into custody faster than they could be processed and transferred out. The medical needs of this vulnerable population are significant. CBP is reliant on local healthcare systems in border communities to provide advanced and emergency medical care. Last fiscal year, prior to the COVID-19 pandemic, Border Patrol alone transported almost 31,000 sick or injured migrants to local hospitals. Even with facility expansions, the use of proper PPE and additional medical support, our ability to social distance, isolate, and contract trace among migrants and our employees is extremely limited. CBP processing centers were never intended to be used for detention, but rather designed to accommodate short-term stays of 72 hours or less. Increased illegal entries leads to overcrowding in these facilities, making preventative measures for stopping the spread of COVID-19 extremely difficult. Transferring migrants out of CBP custody risks overwhelming local migrant shelters, charitable organizations, HHS, ORR, and ICE facilities throughout the United States. Housing migrants for immigration processing during the COVID-19 pandemic would also deal a crippling blow to medical systems in the U.S. border communities. On March 21, 2020, the administration instructed U.S. Customs and Border Protection to immediately expel all subjects entering illegally into the United States. The order protected not only Border Patrol agents and CBP officers conducting their vital national security mission, but protected the migrants who would have had to remain in close quarters during their processing. Currently, CBP officers and agents have shifted operations so that subjects can be expeditiously processed in the field. Once processing is complete, subjects are taken to the nearest port of entry for immediate expulsion. Illegal border crossings have declined more than 50%, and hospital visits by individuals in custody have dropped 88%. Most striking is the number of migrants in CBP custody on an average day has decreased by over 97%, from more than 3,000 people to less than 100. The benefits of CBP's actions and policies in response to COVID-19 are simple. Processing individuals in the field maximizes social distancing efforts and quick expulsion reduces stress on our border facilities, local shelters, and community hospitals. With less individuals in custody, we decrease the potential of spreading COVID-19 to the American public, other migrants, and CBP employees. Public health threats do not respect borders, but CBP is ready.